In the last year or two, there have been a ton of videos posted online about stem cell therapy, and lots of people out there are showing footage from the various treatments that they've had, and they're talking about their experiences after treatment. And that's great, but one of the things that's never sat well with me is that rarely, if ever, in these videos do you get to see follow-up imaging studies that show you what physical changes have taken place in the tissues that they were targeting with those stem cells. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about my stem cell therapy, which took place about six months ago, and I'm going to show you before and after MRIs so that you can see for yourself what's possible with a treatment of this type. Let's get into this. First, let me give you the breakdown of the treatment that I received. My stem cell therapy was performed at Dream Body Clinic, which is located just outside of Puerto Vallarta in Mexico. The date of the treatment was June 2nd, 2023, and the treatment itself consisted of 100 million stem cells in combination with platelet-rich plasma, which was delivered via direct injection into my lower back, and an additional 100 million stem cells that I received via intravenous infusion for 200 million total mesenchymal stem cells. Now, the source of those stem cells is from umbilical cord and placenta tissue, which is collected following a healthy live birth. Now, it's important to note here that this is tissue that would otherwise just be discarded as medical waste, but it's a fantastic source of mesenchymal stem cells, and no one is harmed in the harvesting of those cells. The total cost of the treatment was $7,500, which included the consultation, the MRI imaging, the harvesting of my platelets from my plasma, and the 200 million stem cells. The question on most people's minds when it comes to stem cell therapy is, what can it do for the pain that I'm experiencing? Now, I didn't have any pain going into my treatment. I didn't have sciatica, and I didn't have any mobility restrictions. What I had was a history of a pretty serious injury to my lower back that had taken place about 25 years ago, where the little bridge of bone that connects the front part of the vertebrae and the back part of the vertebrae had been broken at the level of L5, and as a result, the body of that vertebrae had slid forward just a little bit. Now, this type of injury is known as a traumatic spondylolisthesis, and when it happens, a person is at risk for spinal instability and for accelerated degeneration. And so when my original MRI, which took place on May 29th, 2023, showed degenerative changes at L5, and multiple disc bulges in the surrounding area, that's when I decided to move forward with stem cell therapy. Even though I don't have anything to report as far as pain levels go, I knew that things were changing in my lower back, and I remember the instant that I became aware of that. See, I was traveling for work, and one night I had to sleep on a really soft bed, which is not something that I normally do. In fact, I'll go out of my way to avoid soft beds, soft chairs and soft couches, because experience has taught me that if I spend any length of time on those surfaces, when I get up, I'm gonna have an intense pressure down in my lower back. But on this night, this was about two and a half or three months after my treatment, I slept just fine. Not only that, but the next day, I popped out of bed with no pressure or discomfort in my lower back whatsoever. And this was kind of a light bulb moment for me. Then shortly after that, I began noticing that the stiffness that I would sometimes get in my lower back after heavy weight training sessions was reduced significantly. It was almost like an echo of its former self. And some days, it wasn't there at all. And so I knew that things were different in my lumbar spine. And this is when I began to get really excited about what I might see on that follow-up MRI. As nice as it was to feel those changes in my lower back and be able to do some things that I couldn't do before, what I really wanted to know was what physical changes had taken place, what healing had occurred inside of my spine. And the only way to know that was to climb back into that same cold MRI machine so that I could see for myself and show you what's possible with stem cell therapy. So what you're looking at here is my original MRI that was taken on May 29th of 2023. And when you look at the upper lumbar spine, you see these brightly colored, almost whitish ovals. Those are healthy spinal discs. And you can tell they're healthy because they're brightly colored and because you have this sharply delineated line at the back of these vertebrae and discs that butts up against this white space here that's called the fecal sac. But when you get down to L3, L4, you can see that the appearance of this disc changes a lot. It's darker in color. We've lost some disc height and you have this black blob at the back end of that disc that's pushing into that white space and compressing the amount of space that you have there. You see it again at L4, L5 with an even bigger disc bulge and again at L5, S1 
where you have this almost strangulation of that white space here. Now, the spinal cord itself finishes way up here, but you do have dangling spinal nerves that pass through this area, and when you decrease the amount of space that those nerves have to travel through, it can create some problems. Now, I have measurements of these disc bulges, and I'm gonna show you those in a second, but what I wanna measure for you here is the amount of space in the thecal sac that's been reduced as a result of those disc bulges. So here at L3, L4, we have five millimeters of space. At L4, L5, we have five millimeters of space. And at L5, S1, we have eight millimeters of space in the thecal sac. The footage here comes from my pre-treatment consultation at Dream Body, where the doctor measured the disc bulges on my original MRI and found that the L3, L4 disc had a six millimeter bulge and the disc at L4, L5 had a five millimeter bulge. Now let me show you the post-treatment MRI that was taken on December 14th. And right off the bat, you can see that the disc bulges, those blobs at the back end are smoother. This disc appears to be a little bit more brightly colored, which I take as a very positive sign about the health and the contents of the nucleus pulposus, the center part of that disc. It's softer on the back end, and I'm gonna measure these disc bulges for you so that you can compare those, but let's just check the thecal sac measurements first. At L3, L4, we now have eight millimeters of space. At L4, L5, we now have nine millimeters of space. And at L5, S1, we now have 13 millimeters of space in that thecal sac post-treatment. And as far as the disc bulges themselves go, the L3, L4 disc now measures two millimeters. The L4, L5 disc now measures three millimeters. And the L5, S1 disc now measures three millimeters. So significant reductions in the disc bulges as well, which corresponds with the increase in size in that fecal sac. And there was one other surprising and completely unexpected benefit from my stem cell therapy, and that was a significant increase in disc height down in my L5S1 disc. And this was pointed out to me by the doctor at Dream Body during my post-treatment consultation. Here we have a side view from the lower back. We can see like the space between bone and bone, between L5 and S1. The posterior area has four millimeter, millimeters and the anterior has 10 millimeters. Mm -hmm. Then we have the Neo MRI and we have now eight millimeters mm -hmm. and 14 into the anterior. So overall, I'm super happy with the results that I got from stem cell therapy. And if I had to go back and do it all over again, knowing exactly what I know now, I would absolutely spend that money to get these kinds of results. Now, it's important to note here that in the months that followed my treatment, I committed myself to a home-based rehab program, and I was consistent for months with that. And the reason that I did that is simple. It's because of the way that I view stem cell therapy. See, stem cell therapy creates this amazing window of opportunity that lasts somewhere between six months and a year where really intense and significant healing inside of your body is possible. And my thought process was, I wanna layer in as many simple strategies as I possibly can during that period of time to help my body maximize the amount of healing that takes place. And I documented that entire rehab program on video and you can see it by clicking the link in the upper right hand corner of your screen. 
That, without a doubt, contributed significantly to the results that I've gotten. To what extent, I can't say. Some people commented that they were upset that I wouldn't know how much of the results that I got came from stem cell therapy and how much came from the rehab program. And that's absolutely true, but I wasn't interested in figuring that out. I was interested in maximizing my investment. That's $7,500. I wanted to get the most out of it that I possibly could, and that's why I chose to do it this way. Now, if you wanna see more footage about the treatment itself that I received, you can click the link in the upper right-hand corner of your screen to watch that. I'll also put links for both the treatment video and the rehab video in the description down below this video. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful for you. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button before you head out of here and I'll see you next time.